So, hey there. I'm in the middle of a test of this uh, Wi-Fi trail camera here. This is the one I got. It's a Wi-Fi controlled a camera where you need a smartphone to look at. That is there. And then I'm running tests right now how much the battery life is. And I also got this one from Amazon on a different spot. A solar panel charger. This is one that has a USB connector to charge those surveillance cameras. And let me show you how this works. I put it here on my solar panel setup and let's have a quick look. So in order to show this better to you, I need to get up there, climb up there to take a better look. Right, let's put this here and then I can climb up here and we take a look together. Look like this here. Okay, let's look at the solar panel first. This is a solar panel that requires sunlight. Sunlight I don't have. See, there is, the sun is there. But not much light because of so many clouds. Um, I mounted it here with screws. You set the right angle. It's a wonderful beauty. Then here on this side, so I have all the wires, right? There's a lot of wires. <clears throat> you can uh, go far away from your camera itself. And then in here, when you pull on this, you have a USB-C cable. Okay, now my camera is out of whack. But okay, down here, right? USB-C. Now, what we need to know is this. There's a little rubber seal here to uh, keep the humidity out is there. But you can also feel it when you plug in a USB-C, that there is a rubber seal inside the USB. So let's take a quick look on those two connectors. You see that the original USB-C is much longer. than the one from the solar panel, right? So when you plug this one in, you can feel the resistance. And it plugs all the way in. And only now it's plugged in all the way. Right? It really has to go all the way in. Now, this USB-C here is not long enough. You look at this. This won't fit. See that? The solar panel USB-C won't get uh, far enough, so it won't charge this camera at all. So this camera is on its own, and there's nothing you can do about it. So you just run the camera as is on its internal battery, and you can forget about this uh, external solar panel. This won't fit this camera. You need. An adapter from USB-C to USB-C, where the new USB-C is this long. Only then it's going to work. Um, maybe you can cut this off here, so that it looks longer, that it is longer. That is maybe an option. You can try that, and if not, then this is not going to work. Look, here's another. Here, there's a seal here, see that? goes around here, but it's still not far enough out. Okay? See there, it's a little uh, rubber seal around it. Yeah, so not helpful, this panel, for that camera. Not out of the box, for sure. Okay? Now, what is the other thing we have here to look for? So, the 960W. There's people saying, oh, there's problems with the app. Okay, let me uh, use my phone here. And what I'm going to do is I uh, do a screen recording here on the phone. Screen recorder on the phone. There we go. Let's take a look at this. Okay, now let's find the app the Trailcam Pro app. And because I'm 
screen recording, videotaping, everything, it's probably going to work. Here is my trail camera. Click on that. Then on camera, lower left corner. Then connect camera. Then the Bluetooth is connecting. And all what's left to you is pray that this works. And this Bluetooth should wake up the camera and you will see a blue light in the camera coming up. And then once that happens, we do a Wi-Fi connection. And if it doesn't take too long, you get a picture. There, yeah, you get one, see? It works for the very first time. Um, that's amazing. Go to settings, no, go to status. Here, there. We see we have 80% battery. It's already 43 megabyte of pixels, uh, pix, pictures on there. It's 8 Celsius, yeah. And yeah, we are in the middle of running this. Let's go back to camera and see how the camera is situated here. Yeah, I want it like this. I want to see the sky. I want that straight. So the house roof maybe on there. The phone pole. <laughs> That's how it looks like now. There, it's set up. And this is where we take the video of. Okay, we can zap out of this. Oh, this thing wants to sell me TikTok. Are we okay with recording now? Where's my recording stop button? Okay, so I stopped the recording on my phone and then we can look that up. So now I'm going to take the solar panel with me inside. I'm going to see if we can do anything to the cable. So, this is how this works. I took a knife to it and I cut here. The right connector is from the solar panel. I cut that short. Like I cut the right piece away. And now we are the same length as the original one. It's still waterproof here. And what we're going to do is we plug this in, in here, all the way. See, now it's really, you can feel it. It goes all the way in. Okay. And uh, it's working perfectly now. Also, when uh, water comes in here, so we have to be careful that we um, really plug this in good. You see, it has to be 100% sealed here, there. So that's all waterproof now. Water will run down the wire and drip off here so it doesn't go up there. So that works pretty well, I think. It's no big deal here. Camera is relatively fixed. Doesn't move too much. I don't think the wind will move it at all. And now it's ready to uh, do the time lapse here. Yeah. Can't wait to see how that works out like after maybe one week or so. I don't know. It takes a picture every minute and we do this until the SD card is full or battery is dead. One of both. So you will hear from me in a couple of weeks. I don't know. We will see how long it takes. So with that said, I hope you like this video and I see you in the next video. This is the solar powered the trail cam, 1080p, does good, decent images. I like it. And uh, yeah, let's see how it works out. Come back for the result video.